Good Monday evening, everybody, live and direct on Periscope and Twitter. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We again have a fairly quiet start to the week. Not much is going on in the way of problems immediately for downtown or throughout the rest of the Mid-South area for now. But we are going to be seeing the possibility of more problems as we get into the rest of the next couple of days. We do have, again, not much going on again immediately. But if you have any plans for travel into the next couple of days, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you updated on everything that's going to be going on. We're talking about the possibility of some fog in the Mid-South. We're talking about the possibility of very heavy rainfall coming our way. And we're also talking about, again, the possibility of maybe some winter weather heading our direction as we go into the rest of this next week, as we go toward the weekend and the holiday. Could be some interesting problems heading our direction, but it's still way too early to tell on a lot of what's going on out there for the rest of the evening hours. And we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. So definitely want to stay tuned again for more on that for the rest of the evening. Again, currently it's fairly quiet out there right now. Give me just a couple of seconds to get in our Facebook viewers for tonight. We are live on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter. Kazon's, uh, Kazon S in, on Periscope, thank you very much uh, for joining us for tonight. And again, for the rest of the evening, we've got some decently quiet conditions out there. But if you have plans for traveling, stick around because we've got a lot more to talk about here coming up in just the next few minutes. So as of right now, again, just sit back and relax. and We'll talk more about the weather. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, here's what it looks like again in a nutshell heading into the rest of the next couple of days. Showers and thunderstorms tomorrow could be the potential of some severe weather south of the Mid-South. We'll talk about that in just a little bit and very mild for this time of the year back in the lower to mid-60s. Should mention again, let's see where you're from. Drop your location and your weather reports if you have them. Cloud cover, wind estimations, temperatures. Put that thermometer on your car or truck display to good use. Let's see what the temperature is in and around there. So give us an idea as to what you're looking at out there for right now. But for the next couple of days, very much on the mild side, getting into the next several days after this, that's where things start to take a bit of an interesting turn, so we'll talk more about that in just a little while. Travel tonight, looking around the area of I-40 and Sycamore View, the flyover, traffic's heavy and backed up, and outbound traffic again from Sycamore View back to around Witten, very heavy in the outbound eastbound lanes for tonight, so something to consider, maybe an alternate route there. The lights of Big River Crossing over the Mississippi River, lighting up the lower portion of the cloud deck out there. Downtown Memphis is dry where it comes to rainfall. Kind of humid out there with plenty of humidity. Temperature back in the mid to upper 40s around Germantown tonight. Barely visible, the water tower just north of Germantown High School and the lights of the towers in and around the area of Poplar and Mendenhall for this evening. And again, decently quiet again where it comes to weather. Not quite so much at rush hour for travel conditions. Heavy traffic at I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven from our Baptist DeSoto camera. And thanks to the News Channel 3 engineering staff for getting all these cameras back up and going. Really appreciate it and great to be able to bring this information back to you again. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation at this point. Again, very quiet out there. Most of what you're looking at here is just the usual flocks of birds, an occasional aircraft, dust, and some heavier amounts of moisture. Not necessarily rainfall, but we ramp up the sensitivity with Storm Tracker 3S. All of that is possible. And we're ramping up the sensitivity to give us an idea if there's any light amounts of precipitation in the area just yet, especially back down to our south and west. But outside of a few echoes showing up back around Dumas, and into and around the area of Marvell, south and west of the News Channel 3 viewing area. We're just not seeing that much. Now, plenty more moisture is on the way down to the south here. We're looking again at more sh areas of showers developing. You can already see the clouds moving their way back up into the mid-south area for right now and more chances of rain as the jet stream picks this moisture up off the gulf and moves it our way. That's where we see the potential for more rainfall. Chilly tonight, a little bit on the breezy side. We've got temperatures again back into the mid to upper 40s. Winds occasionally breezy. Southwest winds at 9 at Lee County School District in Mariana, Arkansas. Live real-time as it happens weather and you can pick this up from the Weatherbug Network on your computer, wreg.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug button for more about the different sites that are available around the Mid-South area. Uh, Grain Valla 5, welcome to the show on Periscope and Twitter for tonight, and thanks to everybody for joining us on Facebook for tonight. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into the rest of the evening, mid to upper 40s, slowly dropping on down. Best chance of rainfall is going to begin 
as we head past midnight and into very early tomorrow morning, starting off as just light showers. But then as we go into the rest of the day, lunchtime, dismissal time for the kids, that's where we see even more rainfall heading on through. Could be some rumbles of thunder in there as well. Again, some gusty winds possible, maybe even some small hail, but not looking again at a lot of major activity going on, at least just yet. And that heavy rainfall will continue as we go throughout the course of the rest next couple of days. Now, several things to talk about for heads up purposes as we go into tomorrow morning. And here's the deal. Again, we got lots of moisture going on, got some changeable weather. So this is number one of four things I want to touch on for tonight. Fog could be a problem again tomorrow morning. So if you're traveling tomorrow, Rain and fog could slow you down. Again, visibility problems may be a little bit of a concern uh, out that direction. So again, that's something to plan ahead for out there. Now, heavy rainfall potential right around I-40 and just to the south of Memphis in the metro area, we could be looking at around three to locally maybe four and a half to five inches of rainfall out there. And that is again going to be the main problem we see with most of this heavy weather coming on through. Metro area into the three inch range, somewhere in there, less north of I 40, more along and south of I 40. And again, this could lead to some flash flooding situations as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday afternoon. The rain sticking around and causing a lot of problems with travel, slowdowns, and whatnot for there. But just rainfall, not looking at anything in the way of frozen precipitation. So that's some good news, at least. Either way, if you're going to be planning on traveling or know anybody who's heading into the Mid South over the next couple of days. That is, again, something that you're going to have to pay attention to with that potential of rainfall coming in that could cause a lot of slowdowns out there, maybe even some ponding on the roadways, wet travel out there, allow for a lot of extra time to get to where you're going. All right, that's two of four. Three is now the possibility of severe weather. Not looking at anything into tonight. Some possible thunderstorms and just thunderstorms well on down to the south and west of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Hang on, I'm not done with you yet. Cranky computers, they do happen from time to time. We do have that potential of maybe a little bit of a severe weather threat just to the south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. So northern Mississippi, south of Oxford, Batesville, into that area, we see that potential of a marginal threat of severe weather. In the lighter green, that's where we see the potential of thunderstorms, but we may also see, again, the potential of some stronger weather here for Tuesday and also, again, for Wednesday as this leaves the Mid-South heading away from us back toward the east. So we could see, again, the potential of this continuing. Hopefully it avoids the Mid-South, but as the next forecast run comes along, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 because this could shift a little farther to the north. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. Now, number four, and most importantly, this is going to change over the next several days. So here's what we're looking for. Colder air is going to come diving into the area as we head into the weekend. That's going to mix with some of the leftover moisture that we have seen with this rainfall potential by the end of the, this next week. Now, depending on how soon that moisture gets out of here, if the dry air erodes it and gets rid of it, we may not see anything whatsoever. We are so far out from this next event that it's very difficult for the models to nail anything down on here. The potential looks like this for now. It will change over the course of the next several days and that's what you need uh, to take away from this more than anything else. And We'll keep you updated on this. So mainly what we're going to be looking for for right now is the potential for the time being of some snowfall on Christmas night around next Monday at about five o'clock a band of snow setting up around the Arklatex area back through the Mississippi Valley, and some of that could stray into parts of the Mid-South, mixing with some of that leftover amounts of rainfall. The snow bands down to the south, it looks like, have disappeared from this run, but that could reappear in later Ooh. runs. Right here in the middle, we're looking at the potential for maybe according to the long-range forecast models of maybe some rain mixed with some form of freezing and or frozen precipitation. We're not seeing anything definite just yet, but the signs are there that something may be happening. Could this disappear in the next couple of days? Yes. Could this grow into something bigger? Sure, it's possible, but as of right now, again, we're just not seeing anything in the way of major problems with this. This basically needs to be watched more than anything else, and that's what we're going to do right here. So again, so far, sort of a rain-snow mixture as we get into Christmas night, and depending on how much moisture is left over to mix in with that colder air that is going to be making its way through the Mid-South area, 
That's what we're going to be seeing more than anything else. It could be a lot more snowfall well back to our north. So if you have anybody traveling in late on Christmas Eve, early on Christmas Day in the morning, before the presents get unwrapped, we could see some travel delays going on here all across the northern plain states from the Rockies back to New England. So this, again, is something to pay attention to out there. Jeff Hewlett Story, welcome to the show on Periscope, and welcome to everybody who's tuning in on Facebook for tonight. So again, changeable. Possible, yes, again, is not carved in stone, but we need to watch out for this potential as we get into the course of the next couple of days, and that's what we will be doing here. Now, just in a nutshell, here's what we're looking for. Showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow. Very mild temperatures back in the lower 60s. Lower 60s as we head into Wednesday. Mild without the rainfall on Thursday and clearing out by just a bit. So sunshine will be back. It's just going to take a couple of days for us to get dried out. Then as we go toward the weekend, showers and thunderstorms return on Friday. Not great news for travelers. More chances of rainfall, and the leading edge of that cold air starts to make its way in as we go toward the weekend. It looks like we're going to be just kind of on the front edge of that potential of that colder air, so it'll get chilly. Not exactly as bone-chilling cold as what we're looking for well back to our north and west. We could be looking at temperatures in the teens and single digits way back up into the plain states. We're talking about a massive amount of cold air, but we're just going to be on the leading edge of that. Christmas doesn't look too bad. Right now, looking at lower 50s for Monday and maybe some showers. But again, as that cold air makes its way through Christmas night, some of this could change over to that rain-snow mixture we are talking about. And that's something we're going to have to watch out for as we go through the next couple of days. Clip. Clee Brillia, number four on Periscope. Thanks for joining us this evening. And again, decently chilly as we go throughout the rest of next week. But this is a very moderate walking the middle line forecast of the numbers that I plugged in here. If that cold air gets here sooner and drops in a lot more colder numbers, we could look at a lot colder temperatures here as we finish up 2017. So again, main thing to do, keep tuned here. We'll keep you updated and let you know more about what's going on. Tim Simpson's out at a speaking engagement tonight. He'll be back with more on News Channel 3 at 10. And of course, don't forget about Todd Demers. He'll have more on your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow on what could be a very soggy daybreak. And of course, all of your forecasts with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live will even be live hopefully on about Thursday so I can talk more about the forecast again for the holiday on there so stay tuned for more on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio or join them on their website at talkbacklivenetwork.org if you'd like to learn more about what's going on there. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog Weather Overtime. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter. Time is coming up on 6 o'clock. Got to get ready for the 6 o'clock news broadcast on News Channel 3. So make certain you stay tuned for more on there. We'll have an update on the forecast, and of course we'll have more on news and sports as well, and that'll be coming up here in just a few minutes, so stick around for that. And again, please stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online over the next several days as this forecast continues to unfold. We'll guide you through what may happen, when, how much, where, all of that rain, fog, severe weather, winter weather. It's December in the Mid-South. A lot of that type of stuff can happen. So we'll help you update it on that. Again, the weather experts to walk you through. So stay tuned for more on that, and we'll keep you advised. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online over the next several days.